Good morning, everyone. We are honored to be speaking with you all here today. You know, we're in the midst of some powerful change in government, and GIS is playing a critical role in that challenge. So I'm pleased to be speaking with you today about the Boston Way, our city's efforts to transform government through constituent engagement. Now, some of you may know Boston as a cradle of liberty or a hub of innovation. And I'm pretty sure that some of you know Boston as the very proud home of some championship caliber sports teams. <laughs> the Red Sox are in first place going into the All-Star break. But for us, Boston is about these guys. A city of 620,000 passionate people. And we take a very human-centered approach in dealing with the day-to-day -day challenges that governments all over the world face today. We need our engagement efforts to be real, and we need them to be personal. In our city, that comes from the top. Our mayor, Thomas M. Menino, has personally met 60% of our city's residents. Think about it. Everybody in this room, 30 times over. That's engagement. So he challenges us to engage all of our residents, to build, to understand how we can build a better Boston for them, and more importantly, with them. Today, our team is going to show you a few examples of how we are answering that challenge. We start that with our story of the new urban mechanics. We created the Mayor's Office of New Urban Mechanics in January of last year. Why? It was pretty simple. We needed some dedicated space for taking risks. Space in local government for trying new ideas. Acknowledging that while some of these ideas may fail, many more will flourish. You see, for us, local government is the proving ground in this rising tide of government innovation. It's where we teach your children, patrol your neighborhoods, plow your streets. And given the economic climate, we realize that stepping up to that challenge of service delivery is going to require new and innovative solutions. So we're going to show you a few. And to do that, I'd like to introduce Chris Osgood, the co-chair of our Office of New Urban Mechanics. Chris? Thank you so much, Bill. Today, I want to highlight three projects that we're piloting in the city of Boston. The first focuses on food trucks. Food trucks are increasingly popular. For those of you who don't know, a food truck is like a mini mobile restaurant that serves wicked good food at really low prices. The challenge is inciting a food truck. It can take a blue ribbon panel or a team of legal experts to wade through all the logistical and permitting issues on every street in every neighborhood across an entire city. So in Boston, we took a different approach. We said, why look at every street? Let's just focus on those places our residents want a food truck most. So a few months ago, we designed an app that asked one simple question. Where do you want to eat? People could go to our website and drop a pin on a map about where they wanted a food truck most and leave a note if they wanted about the type of food they want to eat when they got there. Over 1,000 people used this app, and soon food trucks will be pulling up to some of those streets our residents wanted most. The second app that I want to talk about today is Citizens Connect. Citizens Connect is the city of Boston's 311 mobile phone application. We designed Citizens Connect, however, with a bit of a twist. We wanted to see if this app could not only connect citizens with government, but also citizens with each other. And to facil facilitate this, we allowed residents to be able to post publicly on a map the reports that they had submitted. This is having some really interesting impacts. For example, recently, a resident reported that a possum had crawled into her trash can. She wasn't sure whether it was alive or dead or what to do in either circumstance. A neighbor, though, saw this report, didn't know this constituent, but saw that it was just three blocks away. So she walked from her house to her neighbor's house, saw the trash can, saw the possum, tipped the trash can over, freeing the possum, and then tweeted out that the case had been resolved, wishing, good night, sweet possum. We think this is just the tip of the iceberg for the use of mobile phone devices to engage constituents. To test the next generation of apps in this space, we're working on a project that we call Street Bump. The idea behind Street Bump is that your mobile phone can actually sense when your car has hit a pothole or a rough patch of road. To give you a sense of how this works, take a look at this quick video. 
So what you're seeing here is a drive down a particularly bumpy street in the city of Boston. The Street Bump app is picking up two critical pieces of information from your smartphone. First, from the smartphone's accelerometers, it's getting a sense of the magnitude of the bumps that the car is actually experiencing. And from the smartphone's GPS, it's getting the locations of those bumps. Put together, this sort of information can build for our public works department a map of the road conditions in the city of Boston so they can understand where they need to dispatch a pothole repair crew or do some longer-term capital work. All three of these projects that I've talked... Yes. <laughs> to note, uh, we hope that once we've actually developed this app, we'll be able to give it away to anyone who, uh, who wants it. The... <laughs> All three of the apps that uh, we've talked about today are ways in which we're using maps in the city of Boston to engage residents. But engagement is about far more than simply getting feedback from constituents. It's about acting on the information that they provide. And Claire Lane, the city of Boston's GIS manager, will talk a little bit about the tools we are building in Boston to make good on this promise of engagement. Thank you, Chris. Snow shoveling and plowing are a fact of life in Boston's winters. Total snow accumulation this past winter was 85 inches. That's seven feet. Many a city manager has seen their career halted by poor handling of a snowstorm. This is SnowCop. It has become an essential part to managing a snow event in Boston. SnowCop is a collaboration tool for city departments to respond to constituents' requests during a snow emergency. But we also want to be proactive and address problems before they occur. In the early parts of a storm, we can get advance warning of potential hotspots and know the places we need to direct our resources. As the storm progresses, Snowcop becomes a tool to respond to citizens' requests for services. Let's zoom into the north end. Here are the constituent calls related to this snow event. There can be hundreds of calls at the height of a significant storm. Here we can see the tracks of the snow plows. The red dots mean that it has been three hours since the plow has driven by. Let's move to East Boston. We can see that there are a lot of calls, but only a few plows servicing this area. Another way to visualize this activity is to create a heat map. This heat map takes several factors into consideration, such as CRM call density, plow history, and calls per road mile. I can run an exception report, which brings to my attention things that are out of the ordinary. I see a list of streets that have the highest number of calls and when they were last serviced. I can get contact information for the closest plows and call either the supervisor or the plow driver and quickly direct them to the trouble spot. The success of Snowcop has led us to a bigger vision for this kind of actionable intelligence, the mayor's dashboard. I'll hand you back to Bill, who can tell you the story behind that. Thank you, Claire. City, city government and its residents can view the same city block in very different ways. A flickering street light, a broken swing, an abandoned car. For city government, these might be problems for three totally different departments. But for that resident, they're likely to be one issue, public safety. As we further our efforts to engage constituents, we are also developing tools that help us see the city in the same way our residents do. The first product that we are developing is the mayor's dashboard. The dashboard allows us to see the city not by department, but by issue. Public safety, transportation, quality of life. And from this view, we can look for, identify, and drill into a hotspot. And then, at the neighborhood level, we can see the key indicators for that area. And we can compare those indicators for, against other neighborhoods or see how those indicators are trending over time. And then, based on that information, we can use the tool to communicate directly to the departments that have to take action. We are piloting this product later this year, putting it in the hands of senior management to support our efforts to break down silos and to strengthen the connections between all of our agencies. Over the past five years, the city of Boston has laid the groundwork for exceptional constituent engagement. Let me show you how we got there. First, we build our information model to better understand and organize our city data. Then, we built connections from that data 
to our key constituent-facing systems, CRM, permitting, public safety. And now we're building a community, a community of people who are developing applications on top of that platform. Now, everyone in this room truly gets the power of GIS. But we all know there are people outside this room that don't get it. And so our team actively works with frontline agencies and outside partners like Code for America to expand our reach and our impact. So from freeing possums to plowing snow, the city of Boston has taken a geographic approach to re-envision how we engage our citizens and how we marshal our resources. And though these efforts are still early, we believe that this work is leading to a new type of partnership across the public sector and the general public, a true public-public partnership. We look forward to working with all of you to share and to grow these new applications and innovations and to truly change the way government operates and engages. Thank you so much for your time this morning.